Jim West, the offensive line coach at Grays Lake North High School. Today I'd like to share with you how uh, we motivate our offensive line at Grays Lake North High School. When I think about motivation, I think there's three things that really uh, motivate people in general. One is by giving them a sense of ownership. Uh, two, unity among the team, the family, whatever it may be. And then also recognizing them when they do so well. Uh, so number one, ownership. We give our offensive linemen ownership in the line calls that we have every year, every play, every down. Um, we allow them to make the line calls up. They come up with the line call. Um, as long as it's appropriate and they won't get yelled at by the official, I let it go. You know, this is something that, that will help them remember the play and what they're supposed to do. Uh, another way that we give them ownership, last year I developed an offensive line manual that actually turned into more like an offensive line coaching manual, which was more for me than the players. It was like 26 pages, it was just way too much. Um, so after talking to the linemen, I brought them in and said, hey, what do you guys really need to know in the offense? And from going to about 22, 26 pages, we cut it down to about six, seven pages with just the key essentials. You know, again, giving them that ownership, hey, I developed this, we developed it, let's go, let's run with it. And the other thing, too, is they have pictures in the manual, things, the better ways that they learn, and that also motivates them to do their job. The next thing that we believe motivates the offensive linemen is a sense of unity. And again, kind of overlapping with the ownership, uh, they get to develop their own offensive lineman shirts, put their own decal on the front or logo, and then usually a saying on the back. Um, so again, that gives them a sense of unity. Hey, we're the old line, another team within the team. And another thing with unity is they travel, usually go a far distance each year for a big man challenge while our specialists are participating in seven on sevens. These guys get to go to the big man challenges where they have the tire flip contest and um, all the different obstacle courses, bench press and things like that. So again, they're working together outside of just the normal football stuff, but still football together with their team. And this also motivates them. The last thing that we do to kind of tie in that motivation, especially throughout the year is recognition. Um, in practice, we're always yelling out their names when they're doing a great job, always celebrating a good job. These guys do not hear their names during the during the games usually, usually and uh, so we let them hear it during practice. The other thing is uh, helmet decals. As a team, we're recognized with offensive yards and any offensive objectives met. The offensive linemen also are involved with that too. So again, kind of tying in that unity, not just offensive line, but the offense as a whole uh, gets recognized for that. Some special individual awards that we have for alignment are pancake stickers. Anytime uh, they have a couple, two pancakes equal one pancake sticker. So each two that they earn, they get one. And uh, we definitely celebrate that. We do a little special uh, award with the pancakes. We call it the Pancake King of the Week. Whoever has the most pancakes is awarded a nice certificate with some pancakes on there, some butter dripping down. It's laminated. And uh, on the bottom, it also has a bar graph you know, with the players' names. And if he had, the leader had 12 pancakes in a game, it's a bar graph with him going out 12. The next guy in, on the team had, you know, 10. So then that's going out there. And the next guy had seven. And everybody's included in that. But that's his certificate uh, for the week. He gets to keep that. And he also gets the uh, Mrs. Butterworth, uh, you know, trophy, pancake trophy of the week. This year, after talking to a lot of different coaches in the offseason, um, it's very important to finish, obviously, finish your blocks. So we're going to include a finisher of the week. And again, we're just going to stress, you know, as soon as that whistle is blown, extend those arms and finish your block. Uh, when we watch film, we don't watch it with the sound on. So then they also get to see, um, hey, I finished my block. That's when the whistle blew. We acknowledge that again and definitely recognize that. And they get finish of the week, too, for whoever has the ta most tallied uh, finishes. That's uh, what we do at Grays Lake North for motivating our offensive linemen. I hope that helps you. Take care and good, good luck this season.